This headstone does not have an epitaph. Yet. How about that old one? Death is just nature's way of telling you to slow down. Hmm. Well, let's see. Hello, Igor! You greet Igor. Igor looks up at you. Uh... No, he doesn't. He is not doing a goddamn thing. Well, let's see, um... Open grave! Grave, hole, in ground. Put person in when dead. Thank you, that was very matter-of-fact, and no sleeping on the job. Crips! Well, technically only large one crypt. Crypt of Borgov's. Smaller building tomb. Not certain what distinction myself. Well, <laughs> you just told me. Big versus small. Crypt key! Oh, Igor got key to crypt. Igor keep key to crypt. No disturbed crypt. Not nice. Hmm. Well, that's okay. It's not the thievy way to go, and you are high, Igor. Cemetery! This cemetery! This is where dead people buried. Igor buried them. Alright, I am not getting any information out of him. So, yeah, bye there, Igor. You say goodbye to Igor. Bye! Igor watches you for a second, then goes back to his work. I am not making any friends here, except for Boris and Olga Stovich. They love me, but I don't think that's going to give me uh, any bonuses in the near future. Unless <laughs> Ah, you devil hawk! Stop that! All right, maybe it's down here. I know it exists somewhere as a construct or maybe just a place in either all of our imaginations, a small place within each and every one of us where one can plant this little bonsai tree in our souls. Or I might be completely talking out of my ass. I have no idea. <laughs> Slice that bunny! Slice him a new one! Slice that blood-stained fur! Oh, this looks... Yeah, there's lots of water here. I think we should be fine. Let's see if we can find a place to plant this bonsai bush in. Hello, nurse! Hello there. Could you help me? This water is so cold and I need someone to help warm me. You're damn straight I can. I, as soon as I check my saves holy moly okay lady I will follow you anywhere even though this is an obvious trap obvious boobs I mean trap now it's too late now okay um well it's it's uh, it is so cold here in the lake please come and hold me and help me to be warm again well, why don't you come up here, and then yeah, I'll give you a nice little hug up here. Uh-huh. Hey, hey, um... So, uh, why don't you come on up here? Get out of that lake! If you take my hand, I'll be happy to show you what the lake is like. I'm sure you will. This is the Rizolka. We read about her in that little book on... Jeez, of round orbs of wonderful dripping in that book that we saw in the Adventurers Guild. So we learned that if you accept the invitation of this beautiful blonde Godiva like barely covering uh, this uh, if you accept her invitation you will be sucked down to your death sucked by her voluptuous uh, no you by in, into the lake so we can't do that. So but we do know that she reacts well to kindness. So let's just, um, let's get to know her a little bit better so she doesn't want to murder us. Let's give her some flowers. Girls love flowers, right? Thank you for the beautiful flowers. No one has been so nice to me since I can remember. Well, the voice acting told us something that was very important. That now she will not try to drown us. So I guess everything's okay. So let's go ahead and, uh, collect that hug now that she's not going to try and drown us. You lean forward to kiss the beautiful lake woman. No! My lips are as the watery brine. My breath is of the sea. If you should kiss these cold clay lips, your death would surely be. You decide that perhaps remaining just good friends isn't such a bad idea after all. I am pretty sure there are certain benefits I will allow myself with, uh, this, uh, 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 well, that's that's good. So now we know that 
it literally, she instead of dragging me down to her death, as is her wont to do, since we gave her flowers, she's like, mm, yeah, you probably sh you probably shouldn't come in here. Well, maybe now we can actually talk to her a little bit more. So let's uh, let's talk about ourselves. Well, you know, uh, stuff have been around. You got really nice boobs. I tell the Rasalka about some of your previous adventures. Gee, you've done a lot to get rid of monsters and things. You don't think I'm some kind of monster, do you? I mean, just because I'm undead and drown people, you don't think I'm bad. No, my love. Uh, oh, um, let's see. Well, let's get to know something about her. Maybe there's something we can do to help the poor Rizoka, or maybe she can do something to help us. You never know. Uh, Rizoka. It is lonely being a Rizalka. Anytime anyone nice comes along, I pull him into the lake and drown him. Once he's drowned, he's not much company, I'm afraid. Well, until rigor mortis sets in, if you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> ah, priapisms. I've been a Rizalka for so long. I've forgotten. She doesn't know her name. That's so sad. Hmm. Oh, well. Well, let's learn a little bit more about her. Lake! This lake is surrounded on three sides by steep mountains. To the southwest, it merges with a swamp. The lake is not a safe place for you to swim. Many unpleasant things lurk in the deep water. Not much unlike the shallow water. This is where all the good stuff is. And I wonder why she's kind of lazily putting their back of their hand against this inky black water, which is barely covering her sweet slick up uh, swamp. The swamp is definitely a creepy place. Dead things lie under the water and try to drag the living underneath. Kind of sounds like my job description, doesn't it? Well, the things in the swamp are a whole lot nastier than I am. So be careful out there. You'll be interested to know, and oh, she's almost half asleep. Someone had a little bit of the toke. Mwah. Um, that the Rizolka actually is from, uh, what, Germanic, no, not Germanic, Slavic folklore. Uh, look her up. Uh, that's actually kind of interesting, but I learned everything I need to know about Slavic folklore from this game. So everything I know about Rizolki is pretty much from this uh, big boob gal over here. Things! Speaking of your things! <laughs> I stay far away from them. They crawled into the lake from the swamp one day. Oof, they remind me of worms and give me the creeps. Oh, I can't talk about worms and make a penis joke. Oh, well. Well, let's see what else we can find out. Uh, forest! Like she's going to know anything about the forest. She lives in the lake, for Christ's sake. I don't know much about the forest. See? I, I can't leave my lake, so I don't get around there much. Alright, uh, so what nice girl like you doing naked in lake like this? You ask, uh, what a nice girl like her is doing in a place like this? You stole my line, John. I don't really know. I've been here for such a long time now. I mean, it's not like I can go anywhere. I can't leave the lake. Alright, drownings! Is it fun? It's my job to drown anyone who comes to the lake. That's what being a Rizalka is all about. Hmm, so apparently Rizalkas are like the sirens, you know, get too close, lure in, in, and then death, death, death. Town! I think I remember the town. I must have lived there once. Other than the fact it's somewhere to the northeast, I guess I can't tell you much about it. Wow. Everyone in town is rather heavy set. I wonder how someone this, uh, this physically fit lived there. I guess maybe she was a hunter-gatherer of some sort. Well, I can't really talk to her much about anything else, so I guess I'll just bid her adieu. Bye. Please. Come visit me again sometime. It's nice to have a friend to talk to. Okay, well, goodbye. We'll come back and talk to her a little bit more, because she does become not pivotal to the plot, but we can do something to help her. I used to think that only paladins could do something to help her condition, and like, fix her, but I think anyone can do it. Alright, let's see if I can rest here for a second. After some rest... You feel worse than before. All oh, right, I'm poisoned. Oh, no, I'm, I slept off the poison. After some rest, you feel better. Suck out the poison. So this time, next time we get cornered by a vicious bunny rabbit, you know, we'll be able to defend ourselves a little bit better. All right, so back to trying to find the garden. We know the garden exists around here somewhere. Jimmy. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, let's try going south from here. Maybe kind of go up and around. Oh. Where's, where's the bunny? I hear the bunny. There you are, bunny. All right, let's... Ah, aggressiveness all the way. Kick his ass, sea bass. Yeah, no, no, ow, ow, ow. That's right, always bet on sneaky feet. 
I'm getting kind of sick of killing these bunnies. I really hope that you get something. Well, I probably don't want to wish that upon myself. The whole shtick of a thief, well, we don't need to be here, is to get around without fighting. But fighting is so much fun. Oh, well. Whatevs. All right, let's head. Uh, oh, God, the deafening cry of the hawk. It's like way up there. How long is it? Well, whatever. All right, let's head. Uh, let's head east. Oh, not again. Another, oh, all right, now it's a wyvern this time. Whatevs. Uh, let's crank up the magic use and bring down the aggressiveness. Let's stay back a little bit and just spam them with knives and fire. Yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh. What you got? What you got? You got nothing. You want some more? Just fire? You want some fire, scarecrow? Yeah! Oh, some forceful bitch! Uh-huh! You got nothing, whatever. You got nothing. And that's how a thief fights, apparently, by throwing fucking fireballs. I remember when I used to play this game as a kid, like the Windows version, it was so hopelessly broken that you needed patches upon patches upon patches. And one of the worst ones is that you could not, there it is. You have come to a beautiful garden deep within the forest. A stream flows gently in a loop around the central island. Feelings of peace and harmony permeate the area. Mm, this sounds very Irana-esque, but to finish my story, one of the worst bugs that you literally could not walk down. Like, the, the cursor would just not go down that far, and you, there's nothing you could do about it. It was awful. Or, like, maybe you would, like, once in a blue moon get down there. Alright, anyway. So, this, I believe, is the Irana's piece of the game. So, let's do a quick detect magic spell and see what's going on here. A soft, magical aura permeates the entire garden. Strong magic emanates from the fruit tree and the center of the pool in the stream. The lanterns are also magical. Let's just not split hairs here and just say that everything is goddamn magical. Oh, there's a glint in here, too. The stream is wider and slower at this point. It almost looks like a small pond. Can we say anything we can... You take a drink of the cool water. It tastes like wild strawberries. Strawberries. There's something glinting down there. Maybe I could use my hook and dagger to get it, or maybe I don't have to fetch it. This is not a yeah. good... Yeah. I think it was only designed for, you know, mages with Irana stuff, so let's see if we can fetch whatever's in that water there. You didn't manage... No, guess not. Uh, let's see. There's apparently... It's an ornate oriental lantern. There's something up with these lanterns. Let's see what's up with these. You discover 30 crowns hidden there. Whoa! You accept it as a gift from Irana. Wow! 30 crowns. That's ridiculous. It's almost like I don't need to go thieving at all, even though I am going anyway. It doesn't. And it looks like there was something about this one, too. It doesn't. And something about this tree. The fruit tree is laden with luscious-looking fruits of many kinds. It must be one of the rare mixed fruit trees. Well, you know we gotta have some of that. Maybe it's like the Irana's piece in Quest for Glory 1. This fruits are delicious. As you approach the tree, the fruit vanishes. Must be that low-calorie kind. Huh. Well, alright. Apparently the fruit is not for me. But, hey, I'm happy to have, uh... 30 fucking crowns. That's pretty major. And, hello. Someone has dug a large hole there. Perhaps removing a bush or a small tree. Yeah, like a bonsai tree. So that begs the question, A, who dug it out of here purposefully and threw it in a bunch of goo? What kind of sense does that make? Well, whatever. At least now we can return it to what apparently is its rightful place, even though it is a very big hole for a tiny bonsai bush. There we go. There we go. You plant the bonsai in the hole and scrape some of the rich soil around it. In moments, the bush begins to grow and blossom before your eyes. Does, do bonsais blossom? Oh, apparently they do. Now it's a slightly larger tree. The bonsai bush is thriving in the rich soil. After all the work it took you to get the bonsai bush and plant it here, you want to dig it up again? Uh-uh. No way. No way. All right, sorry to bug you. 
All right, I'm not gonna give up yet. Um, whatever this is, I'm probably about to just come back and like fetch it or something. I can grab it, but there's this and then this. I'm really curious. So let's see if trigger does anything. Which one's trigger? There it is. Let's try trigger on it. Ah. Oh, hello. You're a, a, a floating flower is what you are. A magical fountain has sprung up from the water. At the top is a huge tulip. Its flower tightly closed. Oh my. Okay. Well, if it's closed, that means we can lockpick it, or in better yet, open it. Ah. No. Yes. Ooh, a spell. Your spell has opened the tulip. Quote unquote. Resting within the flower is a scroll. All right. Well, let's. It's probably going to want me to fetch it, so I'll go ahead and fetch it. If I go and gra- No! Oh man, I gotta do all that again. Alright, fine. Alright, so trigger. Whoop. Open. Oh, And fetch. You don't have- Oh, son of a bitch. Alright, I have some mana pills, I'm pretty sure. Poison cure. I, I rest. Does that give me mana back? After you don't have. All right, it's still there. Fetch. Yeah, got it. You capture the scroll with your fetch spell. Quote unquote. As you read the scroll, knowledge of how to cast a protection spell enters your mind. Ooh, handy. Then the scroll vanishes. Protection is a sort of magical shield which will help guard you from physical attacks. Okay, good to know. I I can now shield myself. Also the glide so there it is, protection, seven points. Spill skills a hundred. Ninety-nine, sixty-one. Wow, so alright, well whatever. As long as it works. Okay, so now let's leave and come back here. And then see if those um Plants or whatever the, the the tree the fruits. That's what I'm looking about. Yeah, okay. They reappear. So let's just try and fetch one eh. Your magical lasso floats towards the tree and plucks a single ripe fruit from its branches score Thank you It's an and now let's find out if we can do something with this lantern. Let's see if we can trigger something on it. Oh Beautiful music streams forth from the illuminated lantern. So I can light them with the trigger spell? Neat. Aww, that's so pretty. Beautiful music streams forth from the illuminated lantern. They also forgot to cut out the beginning of that little beautiful music part. You can hear him like licking his lips and getting ready to speak. Listen close. Beautiful. Oh God, I hate that sound. I always edit those things out. All right, well, that's great. I, I wonder if I'm supposed to eat this fruit or not. A mana fruit. So, yeah, let's eat the shit out of that. You feel a surge of power as the magical energy from the fruit releases itself. Let's see if I can come back and do that over and over again. I really hope I was not supposed to, I, I was supposed to eat that. Oh, dear. It seems to be an out-of-season or perhaps just out-of-sorts fruit tree. No munchables adorn its branches. Well, I hope that did not fuck everything up. Well, I guess I should just get some sleep here. Uh. You know what? I feel safer with these torches on. There you go. Boop. Sleep. After some... And then... After... Let's wander around at dark, I, even though that sounds kind of foolhardy. Let's do it. Okay. So, let's see. We'll call this one Death Wish because I'm going to walk around the most dangerous land in the world at at midnight. Oh, I don't like the sound of this. Thankfully, I'm sneaking. No one can see me. You know what? Oh god, that music is horrible. It makes me think I'm gonna die at any moment. Alright, let's keep looking around. Oh, maybe we can sneak into the gypsy camp. Huh? What do you think? 
Let's give it a try. You oh. feel a chill go through you as you enter this part of the forest, as if a cold wind suddenly sprang up from nowhere. I guess that has something to do with this thing. You see a raised mound of stones. It gives you an eerie feeling. You can tell that this is a place of death. Hmm. Well, calling this Death Wish, I think, is a pretty good idea. Can we... I, I'm going to cast Protection on myself. You cast the Protection spell. It gives you a warm, safe feeling. Let's go check it out. Oh, God, I'm dying. Oh, okay. Apparently, he's just going to dive right in. All right, magic use. Crack it up. And aggressive now. Okay, I am... Oh, Whoa, what the fuck is that? Let me tell you about the time I met this tree lady. Oh, boy. Na, 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 na. Oh, you're so mature. Grave, hole, in ground. Put person in when dead. 